Namaste, welcome to Divine Energy Tarot. I'm Divine Energy, what's good? Welcome to my beautifully lit, abundant and prosperous YouTube. Here on this channel, I like to do spiritually related videos and content. If you enjoy the vibes, the messages here, make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up. Also, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe, okay? Join the tribe, join the, join the soul family, okay? And yeah, just, you know, vibe out with us. What's good? I hope you guys are doing well, wherever you find yourself. All right? I send you healing. I send you patience. Okay. All right, y'all. Let's get into the messages. What I was channeling is that your confidence irritates people. Your confidence triggers people. Okay? Well, let's get into the message. Okay? Because you need to understand, like, why you trigger so many people. Or why you have this type of influence or impact on people, right? It's like, sometimes, chosen, I'm not even going to, I'm not going to hold you. Sometimes it's better for you to just play dumb or play like you don't know anything. Because you know why? Your level of confidence that's come from over time, you making certain mistakes and getting that life experience to where now you taking that knowledge through experience and turn it into wisdom. Because you can't get wisdom without having the knowledge, the know-how to do better. So you have this level of genius expertise. I mean, it's purely divine. When you're guiding, when you're helping someone, you come in as that figure, as that energy. Confirmation? Thank you, Hamza. I think he lost his ball. Here's another one. Can you hear the ball, Hamza? You like that one? My bad, y'all. I had to throw his ball. Because he be just looking at me all weird and shit like... You ain't gonna throw my ball. <laughs> but it's like you come in as a force to be reckoned with. And again, it just really just triggers people. Your level of confidence. Maybe it's the walk that you had in life. Because people always want to discredit somebody if, you know, you don't look the part. But you're full of all of this information. Or just simply because it's you. They might have a personal experience with you and just not like you. Or sometimes you don't even know a person and they're just not like you. But for whatever reason, right, it's like you irritate people because it's like sometimes people feel like 311, you come across like a know-it-all or like you know everything. But in all actuality, it's just that you have a lot of understanding and you don't have insecurity. You lack that insecurity. When people are unable to accept criticism or to accept help, it's due to a lack of insecurity within them. So when they see you being the exact opposite of them, you are opt to them. So that's why they can't accept. You know, it irritates. Because it's like, you could come in on a job and be lower in a lower level, quote unquote, to the job, right? The position and have more knowledge than some of the people that are in higher positions. And this is what I'm talking about, the type of dynamic that you experience, you know. And this is why, because you don't have this level of insecurity. So when you learn something, it sounds like. And you share your information with other people. It sounds like to them that you're being condescending or that you're being like a know-it-all. And people that's insecure, they don't take criticism like that. They take it like you trying to put them in a place. You trying to tell them how to do their job. You see what I'm saying? You're trying to come off like you're better than somebody. But that's from a place of insecurity. So that's why you irritate people because a lot of people in this world are insecure. A secure person knows how to accept help. A secure person knows how to reach their hand out and ask for that help. If it's not being offered, a secure
secure person, a secure person doesn't say, well, if they help me, they always going to have that one up on me. So, and I don't want them to have that. So I'm never going to ask for help. Now, an insecure person is going to understand it that way. Like, I'm not going to ask for help because that puts me in a position of needing somebody else. And I don't want to need anybody else. That's insecurity. Versus saying, let me accept this help. Let me ask for this help. You know what I'm saying? This could be divine intervention. Right? And that's what I'll be talking about when it comes to emotional intelligence. A lot of people that you come across, they're going to be insecure as shit. Because life has like happened and they have gained the perspective that the victim mentality of insecurity and that's what insecurity is it's like having a victim mindset like you could be dead ass helping somebody and they drowning and they still not going to accept that help that um guidance from you because it's coming from you so sometimes you gotta play dumb with what you know like, sometimes you can't even, you know, kind of just even solicit your help to other people because of that. Right? Yeah. I feel like you may have tried to help people, like, make money or become more successful. Or maybe somebody felt like you wanted to help them or be generous with this person. Right? And people are going to take that as... You throwing your money in your face trying to make it look like you're better than somebody. When in all actuality, you're trying to just help this person. So sometimes you got to be able to read the room, read the energy that you receive it. Because not everybody that's talking, 717, is really talking to get help from you they more so just talking because they want to get some shit off their chest but they don't want your advice real shit yeah i feel like people look at you like you really have your business together your business affairs your money is good and people look at you like, who are you? You think you're better than us. When in all actuality, you, you may have been in certain people's situation that you're trying to help. And you found certain things that you did were unsuccessful. And so you learned through that being unsuccessful how to do something in a successful way. Right? And so a lot of people can't take when you come around and you try to help them. It truly, truly triggers people, right? So now you're learning how to use your discernment and really, truly, like, read shit. That's what discernment is, being able to read something. Because, yes, yeah, the energy that's coming out, but then how do you read that? That's how, that's how you build your own discernment. That's why I'm always telling y'all, be the master, be the leader of your own discernment so that when the message comes from me or whoever, you always know what's meant for you. And then you never got to argue the rest of it because you know the parts of it that was meant for you. And you only take that part, that which resonates. Because it'll be nothing but a confirmation because you already know. Discernment comes from being in connection with the Most High and being willing. That's what I mean. You have a confidence because of your willingness to grow, to become one with Source. To stop thinking that you're separate with all these, you know, new age ideologies that pull you away from Source. Creator, the the one, the all. 
there's so many different belief systems that can do that, you know? And I think that nowadays, you got so many different way of life, so many different belief systems that people, they get into different belief systems, they get into different, all of these things that already confuses people who really know what the fuck they talking about. But for people who don't, it just further confuses them and throws them down like rabbit holes. And as they get further down these rabbit holes, I'm trying to tell you, it builds a lot of insecurity with people because they don't really know life. They don't really have life experience. So they lack the confidence and they just want to, they just want to talk. You know what I'm saying? And so when you open your mouth, you talking real things that people needed to hear. Okay. And that comes from your level of expertise and your be, being able to um, read the room, what's around you, and knowing how to respond according to that. Yeah. Some of y'all, y'all just get into the bag, like for real. Real shit. And you just trying to help another motherfucker person out, I promise you. It's because of your level of, of spiritual gifts, your spiritual ranking. You're not afraid to give out help. You're not afraid to do for another person. You're not afraid to put yourself out of the limb. You're not going to look stupid doing so. You know what I'm saying? Let yourself get that far along. You see what I'm saying? But you're not afraid to do that because you don't you don't have that level of insecurity. You know what I'm saying? That a lot of people that you meet do. They're very insecure within themselves. You see what I'm saying? And they project that shit onto other people. Right? In all actuality, some of these people wish to reconcile with you. For some of you guys, it's a younger woman or somebody that's younger than you. Wants a reconciliation with you. I feel like y'all just be trying to help people and they just don't get it until they get it. And that's what it is. Maybe it just wasn't time for them to receive that. Y'all got to understand that too. Just because you have a mission, just because you have a purpose, doesn't mean that everybody is going to be ready. When I created my channel, I said, yo, people that come to my channel, you know, I set that intention that people that's when they ready, going to come to my channel. You got to be ready. That's where you are. feel like you faced a lot of you know people who had passion and love for you but they didn't know how to really show that I feel like because you're so confident people feel like you're deluded or that you're out of touch that's because they're insecure they're out of touch because they're insecure they can't see the spiritual realm. They, they can't understand that there's a realm beyond reality, so to speak. Right? It's like they, they struggling so hard with the practical world that they can't see nothing else. I don't think it's your job to ever try to um, help people that you, you know, are not basically asking for that. That's why you have to be able to read the room. So y'all gonna have to be able to read the room. You know what I'm saying? And, and don't try to control shit that's beyond your control. What they just said with the cobweb. Okay. So you're protected from shit that's out of your control. That meaning like if you sit here, then your divine purpose, your divine mission is to come here and bring messages to help other people in whatever way, shape, form. It's not your job for them to get it. Deliver your message and go on ahead. Because I'm not saying don't be you and come here what you meant and do what you're meant to do. You still got to do that. You still got a job to do. Understand me? You see? But there are certain things that are going to be beyond your control. Like, well, if they can they receive the message? You can't even question yourself and, and get in that energy, right? You just have to know that you were sent here to do a job, do your job, and that's that. 
right? Certain things are going to be out of your control, like especially like with some of these relationships or things that you might have had in the past. You might have wanted to be the best example or the best person to people. And they'll never be able to accept that because of their level of insecurity and how they see themselves. They'll never be able to accept that there's other people out there that are that know more than me. Because some people think that they're really the shit. They think that they are the bee's knees. They think that they are the best thing. And so when they come across you, not on some fucking narcissist shit, but it's some real shit. It's just sometimes people, some people going to know more than you. And that's just on it from an intelligent perspective. Sometimes people are going to have more information than you, have a better way of saying things than you, have more grace when doing shit, right? That's just going to be the case. And that's who you are, collective. You just have that je ne sais quoi. So again, that's why you really truly irritate people. Let me get one more of these. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. You're highly thought of. Whoever I'm talking to, you're highly thought of. Like people think highly of you despite the people who give you, you know what I'm saying? This sort of feeling of opposition or feeling of I'm irritated by you. It's because a lot of them, they they not ready, y'all. Y'all have to understand, be able to read the room. Sometimes somebody just want somebody to talk to. And then somebody out there actually is soliciting help, like really want your help. And you have to be able to read that shit. Because you're a divine being. And I, feel, I don't want to say it's a waste of time because it's not. You was obviously sitting here to do a job. And as long as you're doing that job, you're doing right. But it's like be able to read the room, be able to read the situation in and, and all conversations. And when you're talking to somebody, because some people are not there to really receive no help from you, no advice from you. They just want somebody to talk to. And that's what it is. A lot of times I call these people that just want somebody to, to talk to if you're not paying for that type of service to get help from. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you have to be able to read like, OK, I can only give this situation so much attention because, you know, people are time wasters. People are our master. Um, what's that fucking word? It's like they waste time monopolizers. Some people are, are heavy on the monopolizing time. You know what I'm saying? Situation. And you have to be able to navigate through that. Because I'm not saying everybody got a service out here that, you know, being in your purpose or whatever that you offer in the service. Because sometimes your purpose could be just talking to that friend, talking to that loved one, somebody who needed to hear it, a stranger in the street, whoever, you know what I'm saying? And I mean, payment wise, meaning even if they didn't give you something monetarily, material wise, sometimes just listening and being able to take in that information is their payment to you. You see what I'm saying? So it's different. It's different. You have to be able to like really read that shit, especially some of y'all that that just so used to constantly pouring into people, giving them and doing for other people. Because God, I want you to know that God is pleased with your work, you know what I'm saying? As is, you don't have anything to prove to these people who didn't solicit your help, didn't ask for anything from you. Sometimes it's better to just play dumb. Like, oh, I don't know anything. I don't know. And just leave it at that. Because some people just looking to argue. Right? There's that. And I feel like, you know, those are the people that just want to monopolize time. Just want to take up space. I don't know why I'm channeling this message right now, but obviously this is what the fuck I needed to channel because I ain't pulling no cards and I'm just going like, okay, so let's damn bottom of the deck, the empress. Let's get into these tarot messages here. Whew. 
Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Oh, Lord. This is a good one, though, y'all. I'm going to tell you right now. <sighs> Justice. You are highly thought of. You in the league of bringing justice and bringing messages that can help other people lead to them to justice. You're just sitting here to be divine. That's who the hell your energy is. Period. You can't help it. <laughs> the fuck? Okay, the magician. Okay. Hello, the hierophant. You sitting here to help people shape. Look shape their their belief systems their understanding all look at all do you see all of these major arcana the magician the justice the hierophant the chariot to the nine of wands hello like what the fuck you're just sent here to be a divine being period A lot of these people, like, I'm not going to say a lot of people, but certain people from your past, right? They don't know how you do it. It's a secret. With this magician, it's like, you're just manifesto, you know? Oh, magical you. And the insecurity, too, it breeds jealousy and envy in people. Because when they be insecure, they be jealous of the fact that you could do something that they can't. That you have knowledge over a situation that they don't. That you might have a resource over them that they don't. Instead of seeing that we are all the, the, the same, just with different challenges, right? But that's part of the... Of the I would call it a hangman experience because it's like the hangman has to surrender understanding of what something is in order to reach a certain level of freedom, in order to reach a certain level of wisdom and enlightenment, right? And that's what I think they're missing on their journey, these people that are insecure, right? They're missing surrender. In order for me to learn something, I have to be willing. There's a certain level in me that has to find willingness. In order for me to really truly understand something, I have to surrender something. I have to be able to let something go so that I can receive. And that might just be my ego for the moment so I can learn something. So I can expand my consciousness, my awareness, right? And that's what you do. You, sh you shape people. You help people shape their belief systems in order things that they believe in. You, you help them see a better way. A way that doesn't bind them. That doesn't keep them in constant cycles. You help people to break free. But you have to find. You, you Listen. You have to be able to discern. So that you can find the people who need that what you have, that magic, that je ne sais quoi, that need that message, that need that insight, that's looking for that enlightenment, that's willing, that's going to allow that. Because when you don't, you just going to get all type of friction from people because it's like to them, it's like nobody asked you to be so smart. Nobody asked you to know all of these things. To them, right? So you you know they're gonna give you a hard time for knowing this stuff. Yeah, it's like you too happy, you too vibrant, you too beautiful. How could you be the one that has all of this information? Look at me. I always thought I was prettier. I always thought I was smarter. I always thought I was handsome. I always thought this. And so you come in and you challenge people. With whatever it is that you coming in with. Your energy. You feel me? Like, just period. And people that are very superficial and insecure. You know what I'm saying? 
yeah, going to bump heads with you. I think you're having a lot of forward movement and helping those that you are sent here to, you know, guide or help. I feel like you're having a very successful outcome with that, you know, and it's about focusing on those, that energy, because that's the energy that's going to be pouring back into you where there's a reciprocation. It's not just the energies of people taken from you. I feel like you'll be the most successful is saying with that chariot right here, right? So you you do. You have to persist nine of wands. You have to keep going. You have to know that the reason why you're on your mission, you have to have a set, a mindset that is set. And it can't be budged, right? You have to be very strong-minded to be who you are. Y'all feel like the cats. Why I feel like I just swallowed a ball of hair or something. <clears throat> yeah. Some of these people, these insecure people, they, they kind of slow. And you can take that how you want to take it. Some of these people is kind of slow. Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is a sure thing. So for sure they'll get it. But just in time. In their time. Do you see what I'm saying? Alright? Because you are one of those people, one of those energies that are sent here to help challenge the world. To help make the world a better place. And teach people new philosophies, new understandings. Give people energy, the guidance, the wisdom, the clarity. So you're always going to be that. Your energy speaks on you before you even enter the room. Your energy is speaking for you. You ever notice why when you get into a certain space, certain people are going to look up and they're going to speak to you because they don't they don't have that level of insecurity. Whereas other people, they're going to play like they distracted. You see what I'm saying? Your energy is speaking for you before you even walked in the room. Because you have a great passion, a great understanding of life. And God said, don't, don't stop your mission just because you don't met some knuckleheads that are unwilling to accept what God has given you to, to help the world with. You know what I'm saying? I heard this before. They said, if your mission or what you're doing with your life purpose or whatever, it only, it only is good enough for you and to help you. It's not a big enough mission. It's not a big enough passion. You need to make it bigger. And I feel like you might have a huge calling over your life and you might not have the support or the, the help because it's like a lot of people are, you, you're you gonna, you know what I'm saying, trigger people just with your confidence alone. Confirmation. Hold on. Huh? You know you heard me. You can huh? You can hear. <sighs> so yeah, this is what I got for y'all. I love you. I hope this message. Um, I was able to help somebody out with this message. All right. Peace.